<laughs> so this is Ukrainian Christmas. And these are, what kind are these? These would be potato. And these would be sauerkraut. And we have onions. And what's in this one, Grandma? Borscht. Oh, borscht is delicious. Eat all the borscht you can. And all of our toppings. Oh, did I miss one? <gasps> Meat leaf rolls. Thumbs up. Very good. Hey guys, it is January 11th and you just got introduced to the wonder that is Ukrainian Christmas by me and my grandmother. Uh, and there's my husband in the background. Say hi, husband. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Ukrainian Christmas was amazing. Ukrainian Christmas is traditionally celebrated on the 6th of January, however, it being a Monday and the 6th being relatively close to Christmas, um, my family usually celebrates it the weekend after. I'm Ukrainian on my mother's side, and we've been celebrating it every year for as long as I've been alive, and I'm pretty sure they celebrated it back when my mom was a little girl as well. You start off with kutia, which is a sweet grain pudding, pictured here. Which in my family is then followed by borscht. Borscht in my family is usually served with sour cream. It cools it down, makes it so creamy and so, so good. It's my favorite way to have it. Then you have another 10 dishes. Uh, this varies per household. You usually kind of just pick your favorite Ukrainian foods. There will be at least one kind of pierogi. We had two, um, also called paraha. Nelesnikia is another one. Um, you can have it either savory or sweet. We do it sweet in my household and it's crepes in a cottage cheese and currant filling. It's really good. You just layer them in a casserole dish and throw them in the oven. Another common one is nachinka, uh, which is stuffing. I believe traditionally it's a cornmeal stuffing, um, but you could also do regular bread or holy bread or whatever you like. Uh, this year we did cornmeal stuffing. I made it and I have the recipe right here. This is a cookbook that my grandmother made for her three daughters and myself being the only granddaughter. I don't remember what year I got it, but I've had it for years, at least high school, possibly even junior high. And the one section that I'm looking at right now to kind of go through all of these with you is, I don't know if you can read that, it just says Ukrainian. Um, so I've got all of the traditional dishes that we have at Ukrainian Christmas. Bee leaf rolls are a staple at our table. I don't know how common they are in at other tables. Um, beet leaf rolls are exactly as they sound. You take beet leaves that you've blanched and you roll them around dough and you put them in a pan and you put them in the oven and then as they rise instead of going up they go out and they just look like two little puffs of dough on the outside of these green leaves and they're really good. Cabbage rolls are a very common Ukrainian thing. Almost everyone I know loves cabbage rolls. Ours traditionally had a meat filling. Um, we use veggie ground now because we have a vegetarians and vegans in the family. And they also have rice and seasonings and onions. You can do just rice ones. My mother-in-law does just rice ones with dill. Very, very good. The next one we usually have is drawly. We don't really have it anymore. I don't know that anyone besides my grandpa really likes it. Basically, jellied meat. You take pork hocks, you boil them with a bunch of veggies, and then you strain everything out, you chop up the meat, you put it in the bottom of a casserole dish, you pour the broth over top, keep the veggies out, eat them later, and then you stick it in a fridge until it sets, and you've basically got a big jelly meat thing. I was never a fan of foods that wiggle never sit right with me. The last few that we have at our table are not ones that I have in my cookbook. They are aspic, which is a tomato gelatin. Think jello, but instead of a sweet one, it's a savory and it has tomato juice and Worcestershire and all different kinds of spices. It's really quite good. Again, foods that wiggle, not a fan. We do mushrooms, um, usually that have been cooked down. They're kind of they're usually very strong wild mushrooms and they've been cooked down and very saucy and they're really really good. A big favorite in our house are Harvard beets. Not traditionally Ukrainian but my grandma makes amazing Harvard beets so we always always have them at Ukrainian Christmas. For those of you unfamiliar it's beets that are covered in a very thick tangy sauce and it's divine. And the last few years we've done garlic beans, where you just take navy beans, white kidney beans, some type, some type of white bean, and you put a little bit of olive oil in, a little bit of salt and pepper, and a whole bunch of garlic, and you just blend them together until they 
for my dish. And that's pretty much it for Ukrainian Christmas. Like I said, we do it every year. My husband was very excited when he learned that we have a holiday in January just for eating. And it's a lot of fun. It's a great time to just kind of sit and enjoy a lot of really good food. So that's how I spend January in my house. That's all I have for you guys today. Congratulations to Pete Tong Ideal for winning the Hearthstone Beta Key. I hope you have a lot of fun with that. My video tomorrow should be a Black Temple walkthrough, so WoW fans, stay tuned for that. I, It'll be amusing at any rate. We're going to try and get the Warglaves for my husband. Anywho, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.